All right, you guys, you're here with me, Mr. Dabber. And Master of Thought. On another episode of Dabame, we just got done watching Dr. Stone, episode eight. This episode was fucking crazy, yeah, man. There's a lot of things they covered here, moving into a whole new era. Right, Senku drew it out on the sand. That was so awesome. He's like, we're going to make an antibiotic to save Dude, your sister. And then the mapping, it was like the skill tree. When they came out at the end and it said all oh, the information about it they're giving us a roadmap if anything were to happen either they're making us part of the making of this film <laughs> or this <laughs> anime I'm like whoa man it's like but they, but the film is us it's like this is what humans did yes this you know is I mean? how they discovered things they made these devices yeah. to oh, blow man. air and get the heat hotter and said I like that it, there's a comedic view to this whole thing and right there's a comedic view fucking Chrome <laughs> the calling time. the girl a girl gorilla and her just getting pissed off every time that i think that's uh like the way that the culture is there though like the way they play with that with those words i mean she he's just trying to say that she's really strong and intimidating right right i like it i like it like i said it's it's simplicity at its best dude. it really it. is it, well we have this super genius with right. these i guess you'd say neanderthals Dang, I really feel you're taking them back a whole notch, dude. Who's the Neanderthals? Okay, all right, you're right. Okay, maybe oh, not. I mean, they they, they, they have a language, yeah. They're they freaking, uh, they freaking have a. They, they're not art, living in caves weapons. and yeah. All Come right, on. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, bro. <laughs> gorilla, I'll step up from a gorilla. <laughs> At least, man. Homo sapiens. What these Homo sapiens? Yeah, I mean, they remember they were just us. They were just born after the thing. You know what I mean? The ones that survived or whatever I came. Early. Yeah, people people yeah. that broke from the stone yeah. and had children, generations. The fighter right. called it. There's so much more to this. I, I you know what I mean? Definitely. So Come much on, more they're now. still going through ages. Can you imagine when Senku actually wants to make this robot I mean, or build these kind of right. sophisticated devices? But they did jump eras really quickly right here from stone to iron. Iron. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like how many episodes is this? So that was pretty fast. And this so, is gonna add quickly. How, was, when they get to space what's about to happen so okay okay so i can see planning, how they're planning it out how it's going to take a little while yeah, how it's developing yeah. now anyways and imagine yeah. if they do make it to space that'd be fucking awesome you look think they Sen would look at how crazy senku is but things take so much I, time oh, I, let's say this i think at the end of it they're like we made it they're just about to hit space age because they're going to start going to other planets and it's like the whole galactic you know <laughs> over, overtaking overlords that would like, be, okay all right that we're doing that that would we're be doing awesome that would be awesome what we're doing right now as real humans come on we're in that era dude well we're like why are we trying to man missions to mars think about that we're doing that at the end of the whole anime i can imagine something like or you know even the manga something like that happening that you know they're in space yeah. and stuff i think at the end of the season they're, they're gonna kill the fighter i'm all i feel like he's my dad earlier <laughs> i feel like i feel like there's someone even more dangerous than that i don't know it seems like they've just kind of taking their time right now well senku this episode how senku invented ramen okay i like that that was fucking I, crazy like, he just to try to get the village on his side i mean that's political science because he needs <laughs> a whole bunch of people to make this right. iron man he was right. trying really hard with the girl the watermelon head and chrome there was nothing happening nothing happened not no well they, they he even said we'd have to keep this up for about 20 30 hours <laughs> and they're just like ah right. fucking passed out right by the crucible yeah that was a failed attempt not yeah. all of that was like okay well this ain't gonna work because uh, they're dead the next day right so now senku says he needs more manpower so he's trying to take over the village and that's what it's so funny how senku is so cynical as well you don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy at this and point they even point out that he looks like why does you why do you look like a villain yeah a like straight up line why are you fucking laughing with the purple and right. black background right, right now right right exactly <laughs> i love that <laughs> with that cynical look <laughs> in your face as if you're going to take over the village and yeah. he does have that idea it's so crazy but in a different way I'm t it's like his voice or his like his reasoning yeah yeah, his like reasoning is logical science. yeah li yes. logical science I'm just like wow okay. but at the same time that is it's either good or bad on whose perspective but... well it has no morale right right it's yeah, yeah, only yeah. based exactly. on logic it's like if you exactly. take a life your life should be taken it's logic Dang. it's not about right or right. wrong at least from our understanding is it like you know getting us out at the level master of thought let's wrap this up what did you think of tonight's episode I'm one to like really look at a deeper you know 
aspect of how, what they're trying to build here. I think it's going to be a success if they start making this, because they can go in any direction. I really like this, man. Uh, I'm going to put this at an 8. It's really starting to pique my interest even more, and there hasn't been any action. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, come on. Like, I'm, I'm, am I not the one who's always asking for action? You had right? just stated in previous yeah. episodes about how much you do enjoy uh, action. And, yeah. And, and there's this, been hardly any. Dude, but this gets you at a different level, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, Dr. Stone, it's, it's weird. It's weird. It's good. If it makes you feel weird, hey, get out your cover toe. This is like, open your mind up. Oh, yeah. I'm right there with you, man. I'm going to give this episode an 8 as well. It's a great episode. He invents ramen that he thinks tastes like shit, but they fucking love. What I really like about this episode as well is they gained a new friend, the watermelon head. Right. I thought it was a boy. It turned out to be a woman, and that's cool. And that's hide true. as a watermelon. That's pretty cool. Come on. She is awesome already. <laughs> so it's an eight. I really did enjoy this episode. It's something you have to watch. This anime so far has been really good. But like Master of Thought stated, there's been little to no action recently, but these are the best episodes so far. Yeah. So really definitely check out Dr. Stone. You're not going to be disappointed if you haven't already. Right on you guys for watching another episode of Dabame. Make sure to like this video as it does help the channel grow. Share this with your friends if you do really enjoy it. And also subscribe to the channel for more anime, cannabis, and video game content. Go and check out our friends HobbyFan at HobbyFan.com. Also check us out on Instagram on MrDabber510. And Master of Thought. I have the link to those down below. Also, make sure to check out Dad Punks, where we will sometimes be streaming an assortment of games right after we record this podcast. Thanks again. See you next time, and peace out. Sign on. <laughs>